Good afternoon, it's beer o'clock. Yeah, oh, <laughs> kind of, right? Um, it's Paul T's beer reviews. Um, right, listen, we're doing one of these. You know, for all you people, because I actually care that are on Sober October. I started Sober October, didn't I? But I fell off <laughs> on the first day, as did, as did Michelle. But because we've got one cold already from our friend at the expat shop, we'll use that. Again, it's a 0.0. .0. Exactly the same as the one here purchased from Beer Oak with the little pack we brought. Um, one noticeable thing, you have Kevin De Bruyne on the back of that one, rather than that being on it twice. Another thing, I know we get robbed a lot in the UK, but they're even mugging us off on the zero alcohol because ours is 330 milliliter, they get 335.5. You wouldn't notice the difference until we sat the cans down side by side and we actually realised the English one was that bit smaller. We get, we're always getting done, aren't we? Oh, look, Jupiter branded glass, what more do we want? What could possibly go wrong here? Apart from it be bloody horrible. Yeah, this is the thing with um, no alcohol, beers and things. Um, a lot of people don't see the point. I must admit, it's not something that if I was just not drinking alcohol, it's not something I would go for because I'd go for something like an energy drink or something like that instead. But there are a lot of reasons why people do like to drink these. I remember when I was pregnant, I was drinking these um, no alcohol beers. That's a few years ago, people. It was. And we still ain't caught up with a father, but we oh. won't go into that. <laughs> he owes me 14 years <laughs> maintenance. There you go. There is your water drink. Good two finger head. It looks like the um, looks like the original one that's got oh, cold, isn't it? Yeah. I can't think what that smell is. I don't. Yeah, it's, actually, just it smells like a lager. Yeah, but it smells like a, like a fruity lager. Yeah, there is there is a little bit of something fruity in there. It's fruity. It smells of fruit. It's weird. I've yeah. never smelled a low alcohol one like that before. There's a tiger here. So it's only a little one. <laughs> right. Used to it, right. right. Without further ado, I'll no, I'm you... going to go first on this, am I? Okay. So it smells like a lager, which is a good start. It smells really fruity. Yeah, it fruity. actually smells a little bit fruity. So let's give this a go. Oh, look at that! And you can drink as many of them as you like and not be singing Robbie Williams naked. Not that I do. I wouldn't flip that on anyone. No, it's not, it's not unpleasant. It just tastes like a wheat lager, it doesn't. It does, yeah. It's, there's nothing um, offensive about that at all. The ones that I used to drink, in, um, like you said, it was many years ago, yeah. uh, that I had my last child. During um, the war, people, during the war. No, uh, 14 years ago. The offerings back then weren't very good. You were still there fighting in the Falklands when you were having kids. Oh, sheesh, nice. Well, anyway, I found that the sizes were a lot better than the beers. Um, but this is a real step up. They are improving the flavours. Yeah. Because it's, this is actually really good. It's, um, if that's your thing. I mean, like when I was pregnant, I couldn't go for the energy drinks because I couldn't drink all the caffeine as well. So if these were an alternative to just drinking juices and stuff all the time. Which is playing water, um, and that really is it quite does, inoffensive. There's nothing wrong it, with that. It, at all. it tastes fruity as well, doesn't it? Yeah, it's, it tastes like it's quite refreshing, actually. Do you know what? I tell you what, I reckon I'd have that over a Foster's because there'd be no point, you could have a load of them. Yeah, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that at all. If you're doing it for a particular reason, you can't drink or. Dry January? Maybe, maybe you're, the, you're the driver, but you don't want to film me. Like you're missing out when everyone else has got beer in their hands and you're walking around with a coat. For whatever reason you're doing it, this one is actually, it's really reasonable, it's refreshing. 
I wouldn't know. I would go for that over even weakening down a usual lager with lemonade or something to make a shandy. No, it's actually okay. It's quite pleasant. Also, I, I mean, I must admit, people, I haven't tried a, a low alcoholic one for years. <laughs> but um, there was just... I can't wonder why those people got me. Well, this one just came free when I brought a load of beer from um, Matey's, you see, Duck's ex Expat Shop, didn't they? And people have been talking about these in some of the beer groups and things. Um, and people have said to us, what do you think of these? And we haven't really tried them, so we thought it was time to give them a go. Especially no. for people who are doing things like um, Sober so October, Dry for January, or whatever it is, whatever reason. We did the Funky about three years ago, but then I, I got peed off of them, so I was pouring half and half. <laughs> I remember, in the bottle and it all went wrong. Because it, <laughs> it all bubbled out, didn't it? I think out of the perfect draft machine, actually. I did yeah. half a... I did half a Frankie, um, no, alcohol. no alcohol, and half a pint, but it all, it all bubbled out, didn't yeah, it? it? It went spastic. Well. That, yeah. honestly, that's reasonable. If you're doing something with no alcohol in it, it but you doesn't... still want to feel like you're drinking a lager, yeah, this is perfectly it reasonable. It doesn't taste non-alcoholic, does it? No, it's got a pleasant flavour to it. It's like it's a fancy kind of lager. kind of thing, isn't it? Like a... It isn't too sweet. No, yeah, no. I mean, we've got the Hogarten Lower. Like, that's the Hogarten Lower. That's, that that's the only one we've had recently. Sorry, tell a lie. I have drank one last year, Hogarten. Mm. And at first it was really nice, and then it started to make me feel sicker as it went on. Because it was really sweet. It had a really that's sweet the whole point about going. Artificial taste yeah, it. Whereas this, no, actually, I, it, it, this is what you're doing. Um, you can have this one tonight. <laughs> Slow you down a bit. And so, for finishing the old Desperados. Well, Desperados won't survive tonight, I already know that. Anyway, back yeah, on to this. Back on to this. A definite yes for me, people. Yeah, definite Seriously. yes for me. It's, it really is refreshing, very drinkable. Um, yeah. This is part one of 15 we're doing. Yeah, so we're going to try lots of different ones. Um, I think maybe we should even write out a scorecard so we can keep our, what we're, and maybe a little some notes. Well, this is good. Because... I think that when you're looking at doing these things, it's best to know the ones that are reasonable, the ones that taste refreshing, or the ones that are just a plain no go. All right, well, we know that I mean, we can put a thing up at the end. Yeah, that's everything. a good idea. Now, yeah. you can, now you can actually write an update on yeah. YouTube like you can Facebook. Yeah, just so just some people have got a point of reference to know, oh yeah, I'm going to stay clear of that one, that one's horrible, but yeah, I'll give this one a go because I'm not drinking at the moment. Not that I'd take much notice of us two if I was <laughs> just being honest. No. If I'm finding something that is zero percent alcohol reasonable to drink, then you know that most people are going to find it reasonable to drink. Yeah, so that's, that's why I wanted to get through it so don't get sick. Yeah, I wouldn't know no. that had alcohol or not. If you told me that had alcohol, you know, I wouldn't be that much the wiser. But it's just a bit too fruity, but it's nice. That's better than a shandy in the pub. Yeah, because shandy has got that horrible sweetness from the lemonade. No, yeah, because you don't get diet lemonade. Yeah, I would, get... I would prefer that. So, definite yes. And yep. where do we start on the out of ten? Because otherwise someone's going to um, ask. Okay. It's pleasant. It's more than drinkable. Um, as far as low alcohol, We're we? going on 0% alcohol, very low alcohol. I would give this... 0.0, yes. 100%, yeah. yeah. I would give this an eight. Right, I'll, I'll From within this range, the 0%, this is really very pleasant and drinkable. So, yeah, that's, this is getting an eight. Right, that's an eight. So... We'll, we'll upload this one today and we'll be back tomorrow with another one. So we've got, oh sorry, we've got 15 to do from a box purchased from Beer Org, haven't we? Yeah. Right, and don't thank me, Beer Org. There's no need. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, subscribe, comment, and bonjour, people.